paste it in there, everything is good, my code is all good. Uh, we need to verify this. So if we click verify, we're going to verify program, and uh, we need to change the verify settings. So let's change this. Um, should be stock, so we don't go to this um, tab. We click the stock tab, and let's make this a uh, a two inch by two inch by one and a half inch with a one inch spacer, and the axis origin is going to be left one inch and down one inch. Um, and that moves it to the center of the yo-yo, so if you're starting at 2, 2. We can start the initial tool position at the same place. Um, so left one and down one from the corner puts it right in the middle. And initial tool position, it's going to, um, it's always recommended that you start with your tool above the project, not resting right on it. So you'll zero it on it, but then I'm going to start it up at 1. So then I click OK. And you can see my box has changed here. Um, if I click Verify, does normal program stop? Um, all I did on this particular project was just engrave a line in there, and you can, as I resize it, it, it re engraves it every time. You can see it drawing that line right in here. Um, but that's a lot bigger tool than what we actually want. So if we go up here to Tools and we do Setup Library, you're going to want to add a new tool. Um, so there's lots of different options on. Um, on different ones here, they um, they've been edited by other people. So um, you can select one of these tools, and we are going to call this one. This is a an eighth inch end mill. Uh, we're going to call this engraver, and this is we're going to call it a ball mill. So it gives us that point. It ends up uh, that we only have one tooth on it. And it's okay, it's a high speed steel bit, so we'll leave that there. And the diameter is 0 0.02 inches. It's very, very small. So we click OK. And then go back up to Select Tool. And we want to select the engraver. You can see it's very, very narrow. Now we'll insert that tool. And now when we verify this, you can see it's just a very thin line in there. And that'll help you see whether or not that is the actual engraving the way that you want it to be. Now once you have this, then you can take a screenshot of that and you can continue on with your project. You can paste that screenshot in your project page. So I believe if we want to adjust the angle that it's at, if I click this here, I can adjust the angle. So let me do that. And now I verify the program and then I can see the line a little bit better.